Hello, welcome back. Are you ready for another haul? This one is all about treasures from the wild. So make sure you have your Be Kind coffee or whatever you might be drinking and settle in because I have found, we have found some very nice things. Okay, excuse me, I just had a coughing fit. Not that, anyways. So, right, no necessary order, I'm just picking things up. Anyways, check out this candle, this cardinal candle, battery operated. So when I saw it, of course the cardinals caught my eye. Most importantly, you guys, these flame are uh, flameless, battery operated candles are the best for our loved ones that are on oxygen. They, they love candles too, and they deserve the beauty of a candle. So that is the reason why I pick up flameless candles anytime I see them, no matter where I see them, out in the wild, at the Salvation Thrift stores, anywhere. They're perfect for people who are using oxygen. Isn't it pretty though? And it sparkles. It does. Now here's another one, you guys. So I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but I'm Grandma Gaines. This is Bohippian Life. Welcome. And if you are interested in making money, saving money, earning money, any way you possibly can, I hope you stick around and watch this video because I am a reseller primarily on Poshmark, other platforms as well. And all those links will be in the description box below. As well as a code in the first comment when this video uploads. Um, I will have a code in the first comment for Poshmark if you're interested in saving $10 on your first purchase. I know, $10. And no other fees, no fees to join. Anyways, this is not about, well, I was gonna say this is not about Poshmark, but it kind, kind of is, because this is stuff to resell on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, and Facebook. This, you guys, I love the color green. Uh, well, um, I always say purple is my favorite color, but I'm learning that I just love all colors. And this is a syrup jar, a syrup bottle. Isn't it cool? No, the pour spout does not work. It's just for decoration. I do not believe it had a lid. There's, It doesn't feel like it had a lid. No. But even if it was supposed to have a lid, isn't it just the coolest for a bud vase? Yeah, paintbrushes. I say it all the time. Paintbrushes, makeup brushes. I don't, use, I don't wear makeup, but... Uh, I have a whole bunch of paintbrushes, pens, pencils. Do you have a maple syrup farmer? Mm -hmm. Is that what they're called? I probably, that was probably a real goofy thing to say. But if so, they might enjoy something like this on their desk. You, you guys, we found so much cool stuff. It is early in the morning, pre- pre-workout. So I hope you guys are still doing your workouts. Just because we haven't been doing them live doesn't mean Grandma Gaines has not been doing her workouts. Plus I've been enjoying my e-bike. Check out this beautiful Fenton piece. I believe it's Fenton aqua crested vase. There, uh, There's no maker's marks that I could see. I almost poked myself in the eye. But I, I love the milk glass and the uh, aqua. Right on the flower vase, bud vase. This one also is a Fenton hobnail vase, milk glass. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I think this stuff is so pretty. <laughs> Mixed in with that blue, red, any color you want. You can decorate whatever color you decorate with. White and 
just goes with everything. So we found two. I'm pretty sure two totally different places. You guys, like I said, uh, my husband was on vacation for nine days. And um, we found so much cool stuff. I tried to keep everything separated so I could do the cards and let you know where we were and all that. But it just did not work out that way. So I will do the best I can to insert photos of the business cards if I can find them. Hey, it's a reseller life and <laughs> we have reselling stuff everywhere. So I'll do the best I can to, to accommodate you guys, which reminds me, if you do see something you are interested in purchasing before we list them on our sites, send me an email and um, we'll get back to you with all the information. Look at these beautiful swans. I love that color. So these are redware. I know they have a, a more specific name. You know, like I think you saw my blue swans that were blue mountain pottery. Well, these ones are a redware, a red pottery. And I can't remember the name. I believe it starts with an S. But if you guys, my viewers, if you know, please, please let me know. Because I am drawing a blank. It happens a lot in the morning for me. I just love them. There are no chips and cracks. They've not been repaired. They're super pretty. I Like I said, I just love the color. The pink, there's a little purple in there. So we have a set of swans. Oh my gosh, look at this fella. He's such a cute ashtray. Look at that face. Yeah, so he's an ashtray. There's no makers, marks, no stickers, no chips or cracks. There is a uh, remnants of a sticker. But even if he's more of a modern, I don't think he is. Look at the holes in his nose. So I bet when you put a cigarette in there, the smoke comes out his nose. Isn't that stinking adorable? <laughs> yes, he is. So the cold paint, the red is usually the first to go. So that's what gave it away as being a vintage piece. It may be a made in Japan piece. I don't know. He's adorable. Next item I have. I picked this. It just called to me. Check out that cross. The stone in the center is stunning. I can't get it to... Well, try, try. Go like this. so pretty I picked up two necklaces so this is the uh, the only cross one and the other one I believe it because I could only wear one walking out so I wore this one and um, I hung the other one up on my rear view mirror and I forgot to bring it in and Larry has my car again we will not even talk about his truck, guys. So, yep, he's got my car. And the other necklace is a heart-shaped locket. Cloisonne. Gold. I don't know if it's real gold because neither none of these have been tested, so I don't know if it's silver and if the other one is gold. But you guys are going to... She, she's a very, very pretty necklace. I thought this one was pretty. Wait till you see the other one. Okay, now, check out this little trinket box, jewelry box. No chips or cracks. It's super clean. Isn't that nice? I love the colors. The red, the black, the gold. That's probably upside down, Tracy. Well, of course it was. And here's the bottom. I took my glasses off, so I have no idea what it says. Fine China, Japan. I'm I'm so glad you guys can read backwards. You're the best. Mm. 
look at these. Oh my gosh. So these are hand blown. I'll do them one at a time. You can see the uh, pontal scar. The crackle glass. Isn't that beautiful? So I love the red and the orange. And you can see the handle is orange. No chips or cracks other than the ones that are supposed to be there. And a little creamer. I don't know if these are supposed to go together. <laughs> are supposed to, not supposed. This one has a clear handle. Are they supposed to be that way? <laughs> you kid, <laughs> do your grandkids say that? <laughs> this one has a clear handle. This one has an orange handle. And this one also has its pontal scar, crackle glass. And like I said, I don't know if they're supposed to be together, but they're super cute together. They're adorable. And you guys know that I have this mission, leave no butterfly behind. Well, it's turned into leave no elephant behind. <laughs> I can't I can't help myself. They're adorable. Now, he might even be plastic. He feels like he's plastic. I don't know. Somebody else. Somebody else is going to have to feel this too because you can be deceived. It might be a very, very thin pottery. Anyways, you guys, look at that face. And he has a little divot on his back for some reason. I don't know why. Easier to hold. But I thought he was cute and didn't want to leave him behind. They, 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 they. Let's rewind that one and say, because of the hole in the bottom, maybe they're supposed to, supposed to be more pieces to him. I don't know. But he was all by his lonesome. And he needed to come home with us. Look at this. These are hand carved. Now, I thought they were owls at first, but maybe they're just birds. What do you think? If they're just baby birds, this one is a chonky bird. He's been eating way more than the little one. I don't know. Are they owls or are they just baby birds? There's the um sticker on the bottom. So they're ha hand carved. I don't know if, uh, like, is it a soapstone? But you guys, the detail in this is super cute. They did, they did such a great work. They did such a great job. I love the eyes. Just in case I haven't shown you enough. <laughs> and check out these little Christmas pigs. I believe they're pigs. Oh my gosh, my coffee's just... Time out. My coffee just shut off. I'll be right back. Phew, that was close. <laughs> Back to the little Christmas piglets. Aren't they adorable? Look at that little face. Now they had remnants of stickers. So I don't know who the maker is. And this one is missing, I believe is a little candle. But... You could put anything on there you want. You could hot glue something on there. They were too adorable to leave behind. I love those faces. And if you are a handy dandy crafter, you could repurpose these and you could craft with these. You can put them on a Christmas wreath. Oh my gosh, vintage Christmas wreath. And I forgot to show you the backs. Like I said, no chips or cracks. Well, Except for his missing candle. Here is another, I believe this is Fenton as well. You guys, these compotes are beautiful. I love these. So not only can you use them for what they were created for, but oh my gosh, if you have seen my money bowl video, you could so turn this into your own money bowl. Get a green candle and start adding stuff to it. 
but these are perfect for um, displays. I love the green hobnail. No chips or cracks. And they are so, the little hobs are so smooth. No, no damage that I have found. And the ruffle, yeah. She is in very, very good condition. Okay, so that's the stuff I found that is right in front of me. Um, I will show you this stuff right here. This is already sold. Uh, I do a preview to one of my very good friends, and I think I've mentioned that before. And she gets, she sees stuff first, and she's purchased this little Mexico hand-painted pig. Isn't that adorable? Um, coin bank. The, now, there, she knows that it's a little dirty. She's going to have to clean them up. But, so, this little pig is sold. This little piggy has, is not going to the market. It's going to a forever home. And this little bird, pigeon, bird, also, it has a, made a Mexico stamp right here. So, my friend Tammy purchased this as well. And this basket. And this basket as well. I have them stuffed with paper. So, I won't damage anything when I ship them to her. So... These are already sold. I'll be right back. And because I do my own DIYs and usually get as much stuff from Dollar Tree or discount stores as I possibly can, we found this at a yard sale, out, estate sale, out in the wild. I've needed one of these. You guys, look. It's like everything's, nothing's been used. These are great for your Dollar Tree DIYs. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So I'm going to try to be a little bit faster because we're like 17 minutes in and I've showed you like two things. Um, Look at this light. It's modern. I, I know, but you guys. Isn't it pretty? I love the colors. Don't mind the crooked lampshade. We can fix that. New cord. It is modern. I love the colors. The yellow and the blue. And I ran out of places to put it. I purchased that simply because I thought it went real well with this. These are, they have Italy on the bottom. Decorative purpose. They are glazed. The, um, made in Italy. I love, love the color. Very, very pretty, uh, summer, spring decor piece. Yep, and I thought they, even though it has, like, butterflies on it, I thought they matched wonderful. I don't know if I can see if I can put them together. Yeah, look, I saved the, saved the coffee. And this is why your videos last so long, Trey Trey, because you just talk, talk, talk. There. Yeah, see? Beautiful. Next, check out this cat. Look at the little bobblehead cat. Now, this is, this is probably an 80s. It has remnants of a sticker so it most likely had a barcode on it uh it is resin so a plastic you know it's not ceramic or porcelain how stinking adorable i also found this beautiful cream and sugar set i love the yellow satin vaseline glass 
Vaseline glass. Um, the handles, very hard to tell, but they are yellow as well. No maker's marks, no chips or cracks. Love the ruffle top or the, the dainty edged top. Here is another dish. This is a diamond point. Green satin glass. Compote, candy dish. Um, money bowl. That's what I saw when I picked that up. It's what I see when I see green dishes. Plates, bowls, compotes. Look at these grapes. I'm pretty sure those are lucite grapes. You guys, if I'm wrong, please let me know. They're not glass. They're not. They're, I believe they're lucite. I will, I'll do that 409 test. See if it works. And check out this perfume bottle. It's uh, made, made in China, but the colors are stunning. Yes. It's, it's pretty. It is adorable. Uh, no chips or cracks. One of my favorite finds. And I might keep this and sell the flower one I have. It has hand-painted flowers. I love the blue iridescence of this tumbler. And the simplicity of it. That There's nothing on it except it's a very, very pretty blue. I'm thinking I'm keeping this one instead and selling my fancy schmancy <laughs> hand-painted flower one. I'm going to move this box off to the side, bring another one. I'll be right back. Oh, I can't reach. Oi, oi. Okay, so there's not a lot in this box, but there are a couple of awesome finds. Number one here is this butterfly egg jewelry holder jewelry dish. It has three feet. It's empty, super clean. Um, these are usually purchased to re-gift re with jewelry in them. Check it out. It even has a dragonfly. Or it could be a damselfly. I don't know how to tell the difference. If you guys know, can you let me know, please? Super adorable. Love it. I love these little jewelry trinket containers. Holders. Oh, look at this cockatoo wall pocket. I love those flowers. Uh, the gold paint is coming off. But like my friend Tammy said, it takes it does not take away from the beauty of this. Hang it on the wall. And you could put some super pretty white feathers in there. The missing gold paint does not take away from the glory of it. You could do anything you want with it, but I, I too, if I were keeping this, would put white feathers in it and just hang it on the wall. You want a close up of those flowers? No chips or cracks. Remnants of a sticker. And let's continue to march. Um, I'm going to save the best for last. But check these out. Because they're almost as good. They're just as good. <laughs> I'm so full of it. So I have, if you guys if you guys saw my one video, that monster huge, I believe it's a, uh, a daffodil glass flower. So here's a leaf. This one is shorter. This is probably like 12, 12 to 14 inches. This is the mini of the large one I have. Mine's more open. This one is still closed a little. Aren't these beautiful? I love these glass flowers. And you don't have to forget, or you don't have to worry if you forget to water them. 
they will not die. You just have to remember to dust them every once in a while. That's probably a good idea. Okay, onward. Look at this beautiful candle holder or whatever you want to use it for. You could put a succulent in there. Um, I know. I love it. I love it. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. Did I say I wanted to keep it? But I won't. <laughs> I have enough. I have enough. And I know you guys are all screaming. You never have enough. One never has enough. Okay, so you want to see my most favorite thing I purchased? I found at this one place. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I do this to my friend Tammy all the time. Drives her nuts. Or I'll put it down and be like, oh, never mind. Let me show you something else first. I won't do that to you though. So you guys know I love clowns. And this beauty was sitting in a window. Viking glass clown. Pink Viking glass clown. And you're like, but you don't like pink. I like pink now, especially if it's a clown and it's Viking glass with its sticker. <laughs> so there's no chips or cracks, and I love that he's flat back. <laughs> you guys, if you check real close here, he's getting everybody the peace sign. So he is a Bohippian clown. He is our mascot. Not sure if I'm going to sell him. I want to keep him too. This is my favorite. Okay. <laughs> Let me put this stuff away so I can bring another box up. But just in case I didn't tell you guys, that's my favorite. So this is our last bag. No, it's not. This is our last box. So I saw this cute little candy dish. And, you know, I'm not even sure if it is the right top for it. Because this is clear and this is pink. They fit perfectly. They fit perfectly. And, and I thought it was super cute. Super adorable. I love the basket weave. I don't know the maker. Because I... I've only... I don't really purchase the nesting baskets, but I, we do have one that is a milk glass rooster, chicken, chicken. And, um, this caught my eye because it was light was shining on it and you could really see the pink with the light on it. And I thought somebody would really like that for Easter to fill it up with candy or truthfully, maybe a baby shower, a little girl baby shower. You can fill it up with little trinkets. It's cute. It's cute. I thought it was adorable. Okay. Can you see? Oh, it's not hiding at all. Thought it was hiding. Look at this carnival glass console. Coffee table bowl. Plate. Dish. Oh my gosh. I love it. Floating candles. Floating flowers. You don't even have to do that. You could just put it on your table and put your remotes in it. And just let this do all the beauty. Be all the beauty. Alright, let me set this down on the paper I put down here. There we go. But I love that iridescence. Love it. Of course, I love rainbows anyway. And it has such a rainbow effect. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. <laughs> it's so fun. I gotta hurry up though. Okay. So I found this. I'm gonna give this to the boys, or one of our boys. Um, they're gonna have to. I know they have cords. They have a gazillion stuff like that. They may not even need this, but it was at a yard sale. It was like a dollar, maybe only fifty cents, maybe ten cents. But uh, yeah, I thought um, I thought they could have use for it, or maybe. One of their friends, little kids, are learning to tune a guitar. Guitar tuner. 
Oh my gosh. And check out I've another trinket dish. I know I'm a sucker for these jewelry containers. Look at, look. Cupid and Cupid. Look at the wings on their feet. Oh my gosh. So no chips or cracks. Super clean. Uh, remnants of a sticker. Can you see that? But I like the colors. I, I really, I'm, I'm partial to browns. I like it. Muted colors, I guess. I don't know. You're, you guys are like, you're so full of it. You like everything. Anything that sparkles. Got me. You got me. You're right. Here's some brown. <laughs> Look at this. I love these. We have another one. I don't even know if I've listed it yet, to tell you the truth, because I get I get backlogged. But yeah, it's an oil burner. Citronella. I just love the little jug, the glaze. Um, it is signed on the bottle. I think it says bug juice. Just kidding, it does not. I don't know what it says. Bug grass. Berg burgers? Burgess? Burgess? Burgass. It says that. It says bug off. That's what it really should say for citronella. Bug off. I'm probably the only one laughing at my joke. You put them back down there. Look at this. Larry spotted this. Probably across three rooms. <laughs> He is, he's drawn to the red, and he's the one who also spotted the the Amberina Crackle. I call it Amberina. I don't know if it is, but it's the red in the orange glass. He spotted them. He is, he can spot that quick. He likes those colors, and I love this too. Oh, my gosh. Um, it fits on here. Trust me. There it goes. Now, a friend of mine asked me if this was Avon. I don't think it's Avon. Usually Avon has their stuff marked. Um, it's the coin dot that has me confused. I don't think it's Avon. What do you guys think? Ellie Smith. Um, Hazel, Hazel Atlas. You guys, I don't know. I do know this is a very beautiful candy dish. A covered dish. I love the red. And it is red glass. It's not flash. You're like, yep. Yeah. Hurry up, Grandma. I am. We only have a couple more things. This might also be a more modern candy dish. It's the color. Um, One of my previous hauls last week has another candy dish similar to this. It's a little bit darker. And it has more of a gourd shape. Pumpkin gourd shape. Close. Super, super close to this color. I love the design. Like I said, this may be modern. This might be something you can pick up from Target or Home Goods. But the color is beautiful. Beautiful. And last, my favorite... And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep. Check out these pillow covers. Oh, beautiful. I probably squealed when I saw it. There's two of them. Yeah, the paisley on the back. I am a sucker for paisley, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, yes, it is missing a tassel. Um, am I going to put one on there? Maybe. Do I care that it's missing? No. But if I do eventually care that it's missing, I'll just put a black yarn tassel on it. I mean, it'll, no baby. So yeah, there are two. Here's the other one. I just want it to be upside down. So there are two and they are both missing a tassel. Uh, zip bottom. Paisley on both sides. So, um, what was I going to say? 
So you could use these as pillow covers or uh, a wall hanging if you want. I, truthfully, will use them. If I keep them, I will use them as pillow covers. I just, I think they're great, you guys. What do you think? But truthfully, I have so many pillows and I keep making pillows, Dollar Tree DIY pillows, that I don't need any more pillows. But then I found these. So I don't know, you guys. Everything, everything's for sale. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? And I don't know if I mentioned, but they have the, uh, some wear. I think they're supposed to look this way because they both have them. And even if they're not supposed to be that way and they're worn, I don't even care. I don't care. They are beautiful. And I didn't want leave no elephant behind you guys. Leave no, be kind. <laughs> leave no animals behind. I'm looking for tags. And I'm not finding any. You know those little tags that say, do not remove under penalty of law? Something like that? Yeah, somebody removed them. Somebody went rogue and removed them. <laughs> you guys, that is the end of our treasure hunt. Our haul from our treasure hunt. Again, if you see anything you were interested in, and you'd like to purchase it before we put them up for sale on all of our sites, just send me an email. I'll get right back to you. I check my email daily, not all day long, just daily, like once a day. Shame, shame, I know. But yes, I do check my email. So if you are interested in anything, send me an email. I will get back to you. Um, what have I forgotten? I've shown you guys everything. Don't forget to... Drink your coffee. Rehydrate. <laughs> you should probably rehydrate with water. So anyway, I am a reseller primarily on Poshmark. Mercari, Facebook, and eBay. Um, all those links will be in the description box below. If you're interested in this type of content, please give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you in the family. So like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next video.